Hey everyone, it's Damon with Living in the OC. This is my mom, Cynthia. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> hi, mom. I love doing videos with mom. Mom's, Never know what mom, to expect. Mom is such a trooper. I, I don't want to get too personal, but here's how crazy mom is. Mom just had some surgery done today. Like two hours. And I told her, I said, mom, I don't think we're going to be able to film today. And she says, the hell we're not. So, <laughs> Yeah. So here, here we are. Here we are filming Putting some some filming uh, footage together. Yes. Anyway, we just wanted to give you guys uh, a little taste, a little example of some of the current projects that we're working on. So we we put together some footage and. Uh, well, I just thought it would be a good idea so that you have an idea of how we really can work with you and help you. We mentioned before that there was a particular condo that we wanted to try to purchase and then renovate and put for sale back on the market. And so we have waited a year. It's taken that long in a legal tie up to get the title corrected and to get that all signed off. And so, we were asked to go down. We made an offer. We're waiting to see if the bank will accept our offer. And then we were asked to go down and have an appraisal on the property. So Damon and I headed down to this particular condo, which happens to be in a senior, senior retirement community, community in Laguna Woods, which is so a little bit south of us, right. South Orange County. And we just decided while we were there, well, let's film something. And uh, many people that we go out and we look at their property, they say, it's absolutely perfect. It's ready to put on the market. And we decided to show you the kinds of things that we see because we look at it with an eye for what will a buyer notice and what will make it sell faster, what's the right color scheme. And one of the things that we made a special note of in the video that we shot yesterday, actually, was the fact that in a senior community, sometimes people have walkers. And so it's important that we make all the flooring, not carpet here, tile there, up and down, because you don't want to trip and fall. So that's the kind of thing that we look at and think about. Well, you just hit a great point too, with elderly people coming in, they're going to want it ready to go. They're going to want it turnkey. They're not going to want to work on it. Absolutely perfect. So it and has turnkey. to be ready for them to just move their clothes in. And many times they are coming from a bigger home and it's a little bit of a sad thing for them. They're accepting the fact that they have to live in a smaller and a retirement community or whatever. This happens to be a very nice one because they have golf courses and a great community center and it's very popular but they do not have the interest or the ability to do anything so you have to really try to think what will appeal to that age group that location and their lifestyle and what makes it safe for them and so those are the kinds of things that sometimes if we come out see your house we can help you if you're if it didn't sell you put it on the market there's a reason and maybe we can help you figure that out. So we're going to now show you uh, the video that we shot yesterday when we were there waiting for the appraiser to come. So we'll, we'll keep you posted, let you know if we got it. And if we do get this one, then we'll show you the process of how we decide what to do and when we do it as quickly as we can. Again, I'm Damon with Living in the OC. All of my contact information is below, including my cell phone that you can see on big display, which mom thinks needs to be a permanent fixture on all of our videos now. So there's, well, there's my cell phone. <laughs> I wouldn't, you, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't want to have to try to go and look up things. I want to, okay, I'll write that down. I'll call. So, so go ahead and hit the, uh, the, the like button, hit the subscribe button to be notified, uh, you know, uh, when, an, when any of our new content comes out. So all that information is there for you. My email, my cell phone, shoot us a text, uh, send us an email, give us a call. And, and uh, especially if you're somebody that's in pre foreclosure and you really need some help, you didn't have the, you're behind on payments maybe, and you don't have the money to fix it up. We have some great programs. And if you look back at some of our other videos that will explain it, or you can just call us and we'll talk about it. So okay. here, here comes the video. Stay tuned.
right, so we're rolling. So this is Damon with Living in the OC, and I'm here with my mom, Cynthia. Say hi, mom. Hi. So we're down at a property in Laguna Woods. This is a property that we're gonna realistically uh, do try to do a fairly quick job with. Right. But I think one of the reasons that we wanted to show this to you is that it's in what appears to be really nice shape. It's and, in really good shape. And one thing that happens though is people say to us, uh, you know, this is a uh, is all ready to go. You don't have to do anything. But when we come in, we look at it with a little bit different eye. Right. And we see things, even though this is a this is a pretty kitchen, and it has. What year was this built? It was built like stone. This is built like what in the '90s, '80s, or '90s? I don't know the exact year on it. But. Something like that. It has really pretty detail molding, mm -hmm. and the cabinets are in fairly good shape. Um, cabinets are fine. But this is the kind of thing that we have to look for. Of course, there is not a refrigerator. Sure. And even though the cabinets seem nice, the doors may not stay closed. Uh -huh. And then when you look inside, if you film this, that's not something that you can put on the market. So we have to come through and everything has to be just spotless and perfect because the people that are the, looking around in this particular, this is a retirement community. And there are currently about 25 of these units throughout this large community. That are available. But here's the other thing. This is the kind of thing that we notice, okay? All in all though, this place is in really good shape. It's in fairly good shape. It's gonna take just minor rehab well, to get this thing ready. Well, we're gonna have to do some painting and what have you. But if you can zoom in on this, somebody has taken a water-based paint and put it over an oil base. And all it does then is it just literally peels off right the paint peels off so we can't leave that it's over here you can see a spot over here if you'll show this Damon so we come through and we go yeah, oh my gosh now we have to go through here and re sand all this seal all this sure and paint everything what about the carpet are we gonna it leave the carpet? carpet but it has kind of a blue carpet and it's a that, little outdated, but yeah. And that is, the, it's relatively good. I mean, it's in good, good shape, shape. Yeah. But blue is the hardest color to sell. Even though we're down by the beach, but it's still. And this is another thing that I'm, that I can Sure, so the walls. Look at, look at this. Again, we don't have a lot of lighting in here, but you can, as I kind of zoom in, you can see If you can, you can, you can look this. at all of this, you, you can, can see, see the... it's all water damage. The unit that was upstairs, a pipe broke in the wall, so we have to come through and retexture this and repaint all of this. And you think that, you know, uh, the heating, air conditioning, electrical things are a huge issue. Uh -huh. It has a relatively cooler. new cooling unit, yeah. but neither the heat nor the AC works at all. So a new HVAC system has to come in here. So that's going to cost us probably 10 grand if we ended up putting that in, yes. right? Yes, and if you- 10 to 12 grand, probably. All right, here's a return vent that doesn't even fit the wall. Something mm -hmm. has happened here. Here are baseboards that don't even, that are not attached yeah. to the wall. Here's an electrical problem that all has to be filled in and taken care of. And this is another thing, we have to decide, what do we do with this? Right here, and you can't really fix this or hide this, there is the a big chip, two pieces yeah. right in the middle of the kitchen yeah. where the tile is chipped out. Then if you come in here, again, you have paint colors. I don't know if that one will go on, I guess not. It's okay. But paint colors that probably Yeah, won't. the paint's outdated. I mean, I've just got to go, what what kind of colors would we think? Neutral. Neutral, you neutral have to keep colors. Everything so that and this is a dated cabinet. Yeah. So this we would whole, probably. If we're going to go do like a, again though, we're, we're trying to keep the rehab budget on this minimal. So this stuff is probably just going to stay, right? We're not replacing that. We would paint out the cabinets and change the knobs and the pulls because this hardware is fine. It, and again, it depends on how much, because you could sink a lot of money into this place if you wanted to. If you look up at the ceiling, yeah. the venting and everything doesn't really work and there's a crack. Can you see it on the right side there? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Here's a plus. 
But again, this is for a retirement community, right? Right. So. And here's the plus is that it has a built-in area for a washer and yeah, dryer. Yeah, built-in washer dryer. Yeah. And then this is what would have been, was this the master. Was the master, but again, we have water damage this time from the outside coming in. Uh huh. And then we come over here. This is the kind of thing that I pick up when I see. You have a baseboard that all of a sudden stops. Uh -huh. And so we have to pull this out and put in continuous same baseboard all the way through. Right. Uh, again, there's a wall unit here for air conditioning that does not work. Swamp cooler. The Again, the paint, we'd have to do something with the paint. The wallpaper, what about the wallpaper? Probably going to, because it's a texture, we're going to probably paint over it. And it'll Just end up a it. solid color with texture to it, which mm -hmm. might be kind of cool. Uh, but here, this, there was, this is where it was part of the right. water damage. That's, that's a, yeah, that's got to be. So all this has to up. be repaired and new uh, hardy backer board. And if you come down here, there was also plumbing problems down here. Right, that's that's minor though. So, and usually we would this car. You want this, to show the shower? Sure. The uh, somebody put baseboard oh. up around the top of the shower. Interesting. So those are things that we have to take care of and correct. Uh huh. Yeah. And then you have to make a decision about in this, the second bedroom here. And again, we would probably paint out the doors. Here, there's a missing drawer. Sure. Somebody just glued this onto the front, and that's now broken. Those are all the things that have to be repaired. In here, in the second bedroom, and there's a lot of paint in these floors. And what we would probably do is run new tile or uh, sort of um, imitation wood flooring through the entire thing because it, if you look this direction you can see the different tile and the carpet and the things chop it up if it was all running continuously mm -hmm. the whole place would look larger sure along with neutralizing the wall colors and then the homeowner here had built in some closets. This closet, yeah. Which probably will have to come out because we're gonna, if we put new carpeting and there was a built-in unit here, so we're missing carpeting and the remnant that was left isn't big enough to fill this in. So that's right. why we're gonna have to put new flooring. And then they took out over here. Got some little patchwork and look up, up here. The and look up the ceiling. More than anything, we have to repair uh -huh. all these places where Did you take the popcorn off or not? No, we can't because there's a Asbestos heating, heating in the heating. ceiling, and uh -huh. which doesn't work. But over here, you can see all the places that there's been some water damage. Right. Can you see the spot up here? Yeah. No, you see? can. If I, I'm again, I'm not trying to like overly zoom in on anything. Okay. I'm just trying to stay kind of wide angle. But um, then here was a mistake. Somebody, this is the closet, and somebody took the closet door out. Sure. So that's the kind of thing people will say to us, but it's in perfect shape. You know, you really don't need to do anything to it. But we do, when you come in and you want to put it on the market with 25 other units possibly up for sale, they're going to pick the one that doesn't have anything like this, where there's separation in the wall and missing the closet doors and, and a closet over here that takes up space that you would put a chest of drawers or something. So, but you know, with today's market, the question becomes how much do we want to put in to make it worthwhile with the days on market and everything. So, but this is the one that was in um, uh, a legal mess because of the title being incorrect. And we were hoping we've got an offer in on it. And if we, if we do get this one, then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll show you the repairs and the difference and how it looks and how you want your place to look so that you get top dollar and it will sell really fast. Sure, yeah. I mean, all things considered though, it's in really pretty good shape. I mean, when you yes. look at some of the rehabs that, that people go into, I mean, this is all really pretty minor. 
pretty minor, but you've probably got twenty thousand dollars worth of repair work. Right. But it's it, actually all things considered, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. I don't think I don't think this job will take that long to fix up. No, we can accrue in here. But we just wanted to show you some before pictures in the hopes that if we get it and we fix it up and we put it on the market, then we'll show you. Yep. So that if you're working on your house um, at, or you're trying to sell it yourself, what we can come through and do mm. to try to put it on the market, especially with what is your, your company's name of the program that will come in and pay for all the rehab. The Pinnacle, the uh, Pinnacle you're talking program. about through Berkshire? Through Berkshire Yeah, through Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway, they, they've got the Pinnacle program where, yeah, if we're just gonna be doing a, a straight, you know, renovate and list, yes, we can do, offer that Pinnacle program. For people where you literally do. don't have to come out of pocket for any of the funds until escrow Without closes, sale, so yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So yeah, we just wanted to give you guys a kind of an idea of, you know, some of the projects that we're working on. And this is a fun one for us. And uh, how you, how, when we come through, what we look for, uh, and this is just wear and tear, appliances that aren't working, paint that was done incorrectly. Um, but this is a, is a, the bare bones of this is just really very, very nice. So I haven't been in the camera at all on this. So oh. whoop, I'm just, there we go. I, when mom wanted to shoot, uh, I didn't bring my gimbal or anything with me. So I'm just doing the hand, uh, uh, holding it by hand. But anyway, Damon Robbins, Berkshire Hathaway, would love to help you. Also our channel, Living in the OC on YouTube. If you haven't hit that like button, please hit the like button, subscribe uh, to get you know notifications whenever we have new content that's coming out, so you'll be the first to uh, to know. It's uh, Memorial Day today. We wanted to just say thank you to everyone who has served, and uh, all you know. This is about the, the the day of people that have sacrificed their lives, given the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Thank you, everyone that has served in the military. God bless you guys. And maybe mention uh, beat foreclosure if you're someone who has a house that's going to be uh, put on auction uh, within the next month or two give us a call because we can provide this service for you make you a cash offer renovate it for you if you want to try to sell it before it becomes in foreclosure and is auctioned and you're evicted go Don't back you. and look at our whole series we did like eight to ten eight. videos on that mm -hmm. so we're switching gears now focusing on the retail side but uh yeah, we put some great content together. So yes, it should help you. Nothing else, give us a call. Maybe we can answer some questions or give you some direction. Uh, don't lose hope. Don't just give up and throw in the towel without getting some more information. Absolutely. Okay, God bless you guys. We'll talk soon. Thank you.